At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, welcome back. This is the third episode in my Two Point Hospital Let's Play series. So in the last video we saw we finished Hogsport, the first hospital. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. That was mostly a tutorial level. So now we're going to move on. We can move around this very pretty map. Movement is just the same as in the other uh, in the other window. Right click to drag and move it all around. I presume we're going to get lots more over here, but I can't move over there just quite yet. So it looks like I've got two choices, but seem to be strongly recommended to go towards lower bullocks. Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. And off we go. So I've got no stars on this. I've got to get up to three stars again, hopefully. We want to make sure our hospitals are good quality. So, staff qualifications. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this. Psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in our psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. So there we go. So what have we got? So we've got this doctor. Let's slow it, slow it down a bit. Um, he's got psychiatry, uh, diagnostics. Oh, that's quite good. It tells you how many people have got that same qualification, so you can tell whether he's valuable or not. And they've thrown a huge GP's office right in the centre, so I'm not really sure why. Maybe just to show out, show off how pretty and kind of nice you can make things with the two benches here and everything. So I'll tell you what, we'll leave that there for now and let's get cracking straight away. Put it back on normal speed. So we've got one uh, GP's office there. So why don't we just put in, you know what, I'm going to put in a, uh, a pharmacy. I'm not going to put it in there. I'm going to move it now. How do I move it? So I right click and I move over. So if I put that there, then there's still enough room for the benches here. Yeah, I like that. So how about that then? So we'll put the door. So there's a nice little corridor over here. If I decide I want to put a room over here later in the day, then I can do that. Uh, I've got a nice handyman. I'm not quite sure why they gave me a handyman straight up. If there's a reason that he's particularly good handyman, but there we go. Um, do we need filing cabinet in there? Oh, go on then. Um, so, Z and X are to twist, or you can hold. But the holding I didn't find so easy, to be honest. It uh, feels a little bit more cumbersome. Um, so, there we go, we can twist around as well. So we get a few things in here. Maybe a fire extinguisher along the back wall there some hand sanitizer on your way in it's a bit weird you can't put a hand sanitizer there the door really wouldn't get in the way of it but you know there we go they've designed this game the way they've designed it a uh, couple plants in the corner and of course the lovely lightheadedness poster so let's see if there's anything else we can buy to go in any of these rooms we can get a yucca plant or a cactus um, does it tell you how much impact it has on attractiveness no Okay, well, I'll get a yucca because it's cheaper. Um, there we go, a lovely or a yucky yucca. So there we go, uh, where you go, perfect in there. So you're level three now, I haven't really got anything else that I want to put in, so off we go. I'm going to need a nurse to go in now, aren't I? Okay, so we've got our first patient. He definitely needs a psychiatry room, so how about we put that over here? How big does that need to be? That's still quite a small one as well, so maybe we make it a bit like that. Yeah, that's nice. Um, it's a bit weird actually, you can't, um, so you can, what you can do is you can twist around like that, but if I twist around and move up and down, it doesn't allow me to, tw to, to twist and to adjust the pitch which is a bit i don't know confuses me a bit i'm a bit i'm used to other games where you can kind of have free movement around and uh, makes it a little bit easier i think to play with because at the moment you basically have to make one movement that way one movement that way um although you're probably all screaming at the screen saying 
Stop twisting it! Because I know what it's like, you know, sometimes you just spin it around everywhere and it's then really hard to follow what's going on. So a couple of filing cabinets, you can have a big bin in here. Uh, nice chaise long or couch as it says. Um, an armchair. Um, oh, I saw online people with a fire... Oh, I haven't got enough money for that. So we get a diagnostic bookcase. Um, and we'll put couple along there, um, the normal lightheadedness poster, you know, I have a couple of yucca, oh, let's get a nice arrangement of four actually, oh, no, that's not good, so what are you telling me, so that can't go there, well, that's a shame, isn't it, okay, so we'll put that, we'll put those two in the corner like that, that'll do it, and then we'll put this one just under the window over here, lovely, and how about what's next, so, Anything else in here? No, it's already level 3. Do I think I can get it up to level 4? Potentially. But do I need to? Probably not. But let's just get another normal plant in there. Uh, two of them along there, and that's lovely. So we've got psychiatry. A lot of people look like Freddie Mercury. Let's have a look at them. So new technology. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies. We run various research hospitals across the UK. They have an interesting propo proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with, well, best not go into it. Okay, exchange. They'll send us some psychiatry patients and then that will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Oh, lovely, okay. All right, so we need to buy all the technology we can because we haven't got a research license yet. So I'll just have a little slurp of my drink. Lovely. So on we go. So we've got a few of them already. Look at them, they look just like Freddie Mercury with the big moustache. Oh yeah. Although it's Freddie Mercury mixed with um, someone in sports gear by the looks of it. Um, yeah, they look like they've got a pair of like trainers on and uh, tracky bottoms. There we go, we've got one person heading in there. Have a little sit down. Oh yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, he does look ill, doesn't he? No, you meant to let him speak. Oh, sorry, our pharmacy needs a nurse. Yes, what was your name? Albert Crank, wasn't it? Okay, hire nurse. Um, well, you're good in ward, but you're good at... Well, neither of you are good in pharmacy, but there you go. You can go in there. Off you plop. Um, our doctor's gone AWOL, so we better hire another doctor. Oh, we're a bit behind time here. What have you got? You've got psychiatry, diagnostics, and GP. Um... Go on then, we'll get you. You can plop in there. What's your name? Dr. Clary Kunk. Okay, you're feeling energized and you're an entertainer and a healer, lovely. Okay, so what else do we need now? So we need to go to our rooms, GP's office, we've got pharmacy, we've got psychiatry, I think we need a general diagnosis. Pop that in here. Do we need more than three by three? Probably not for now. Ah, oh, you know what, we'll add in there's not much room over here, so we'll make it a nice big one. Um, we'll chuck a load of windows in there, because I think the bigger you make the room, the more prestige it has. And I think then the more likely it is to be able to diagnose quickly or cure. Or... Anyway, it's good. That's what, that's what they say. So they're telling me, from what I can see on the internet, that it's good to have bigger rooms. There we go, a load of filing cabinets, because you've got to keep a lot of information about these guys. Uh, weighing scales in the corner, nice big bin. Um, and then fire extinguisher as always, you know, you don't want any of this machinery to get broken down. Hand sanitizer, lovely yucca. I do like these yuccas actually, they're very pretty. Um, anything else? I haven't really got any other, um, I haven't got any more K points since I've uh, been buying all these other things. Um, absolutely covered in lightheadedness posters because these guys in here, they need to know what's going on. There we go, level four. Lovely. Lovely little room, that. Bungle Technologies has given us access to some of their latest technology. A pharmacy drug mix upgrade. A general diagnosis machine upgrade. If we buy these for our machines, they'll become more powerful. So we can diagnose and cure quicker if we buy those upgrades. However, I think it's going to put it out of service, but there we go. Can we do there? Upgrade to drug mixer number two. So upgrade one machine. 
we'll do that. Um, I think I saw someone want the ward, so let's get a ward in. That's a nice size. We'll get that down there. Um, how about a window? Can we fit a window in here? Fit one in there. Yeah, lovely. I don't know why, but I just delight. I like putting the windows in all the way down. It just, uh, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more appealing in my eyes. Um, okay, and get your nurses station in over here. Uh, right in the corner, lovely. Screen over here. It's a nice tidy layout, I think, just to fit everyone in. A couple lockers for everyone's stuff. Can't fit two in there, can I? Really? Slightly. Lovely. Um, well, what else do we need in here? Because it's almost level three, so there we go. Wing scales. There we go. Um, and then another a couple plants in there. Make it nice and pretty. So there we go. So I think what we're going to need is we're going to need some more janitors. So you look quite good. So we'll hire you. I don't know why I put you in there. Uh, we need another nurse. You've got ward management, so you can go in there. Uh, doctor, we probably need another doctor. You look very good, but um, hopefully you don't kick that person out. That should do for the hiring for now. So I can upgrade the easy scan. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, that's expensive. It's out of service while well, this guy just stands there and works away. So hopefully this janitor, Henrietta Claridge, uh, she's getting straight at it. What's she doing? Yeah, hit it. That'll make it better. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's quite a big sca spanner for such a small machine. Lovely. Okay, carry on. So what do we need to do? Upgrade a machine. So hurry up. Get involved. So we've got all of those. Um, we're going to need probably a deluxe clinic at some point, but I think we need a staff room before our staff start running away. Um, okay, machine upgrade is complete. Make sure we've got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep our pre precious machinery safe. Okay, all right, excellent. This high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Extract a pan. Oh yes, so uh, we're gonna have a new illness come along now. So how big do I want this room? Because I think it's not a great space. I probably could have made the ward one bigger, couldn't I? So maybe I'll put that in like this. Let's make just a small one in there. Put a door in there. Windows, as always. Can't have too many windows, I say. Um, and then a nice little sofa in the corner. Uh, if you hold control, then you can twist things around in this game. Again, I still don't find it that easy to twist, but there we go. Um, drinks machine in the corner. Snack machine, just buy it. Can we get a book? Can we get a yucca plant? Yeah, we can get a yucca plant back there and another plant in there. Um, and let's have a bookcase in case they want to read. You know, they might want to take their mind off of work and read a nice book. There we go, level three as well. Off we go. So, how do I edit this room? Click and hold, maybe? No? Oh, edit. So if I go plus, can I add that on there? Yeah. Um, okay. And then how do I pick you up and move you over? Okay. Um, yeah, it's not actually the easiest to do this. You'd think what they'd do is they'd, they'd make the windows kind of move with the wall, but they don't, do they? Um, so that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. Well, I don't need that one. Um, I don't need this one either. And there we go. Lovely. So that's a bit bigger now. Um, and you know what? I can probably adjust the room somewhat. So if I put it in like that, and then like that, Oh, there we go so I can put that in the corner and then that one there and then I can fit a nice locker between them look at that that's looking even better than it was before um, and a locker down there as well come on 
Come on, there we go. And then we go. Um, get rid of you. And we'll chuck another bed in. Where can we fit it? Can we fit two along here now? Or, no, we fit one there and one there. Um, you know, it's nice to make sure everyone's crammed in. This is uh, this is the UK, don't you know? We have we have a just about functioning NHS. So there we go. It's still a prestige level three. Maybe a bin can fit behind the door somewhere. Or a big bin. Yeah, there we go. And plus and off we go. So, to get one star hospital, apparently I need to get own two buildings. So, oh, that's nice. Nice little playground. Oh, this one's cheapest. So we'll get that one. Um, oh, I've got a load of messages down here. I keep missing them. Constructing new buildings. We construct new buildings. Okay, buy a pot, click on it. Yep, yeah, fine. Upgrading machines. Yep. Yeah. Um, illness. Portis head. Uh, Portis head affects body and mind. Once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air. Oh, it's known for living in Portis head. I think that's in Cornwall somewhere. Um, Pan's lab required. Okay, just, just wait. Just wait. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll up the attractiveness. There we go. Bog warts discovered. Okay, uh, pharmacy, lovely. Uh, go on, have a bit of a promotion. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. So, you guys are waiting for Pan's lab. So, what else haven't I got? So, I haven't got toilets, a deluxe clinic, or Pan's lab. So can I fit? Oh, that's quite a big one, isn't it? So can I fit it in there? No. Hmm. Right. Well, after having put that staff room in over there, I may be regretting it. Because that's the... That's the... Uh, yes, I want to stop editing it. So it's taking a bit of time to build that. So we'll leave that to come along. Deluxe clinic. I thought... I think you're a bit smaller. There you go. I can fit three in there. So I can flip around. Come in here. Um, yeah, this is the one where they take the take the light bulb off the feather's head. Uh, yeah, we don't want to put you that way around, do you? There we go. Lovely. Uh, big bin in. Fire extinguisher because these machines are, uh, you know, known to break down. Uh, a couple plants, a nice normal plant and a yucca either side. And you need some lightheadedness posters just to remind you of what's happening. I can get a drinking fountain. Yeah, I'll get one of them. Um, I'm not sure if I need it actually in the room, having thought about it. But, um, you know what? Let's, can I plop it outside? Yeah, I can. Lovely. Okay. So there we go. So my patient request, I've only, oh no, my staff request, I've only got, what is that? Uh, another 160 days to make it happen. So what I'll do is I'll get some items. I'll get the bench. Um, there we go, we'll get a bench in there, and a bench in there, and there, that's nice. And then a couple benches along here. I don't know why I made that general diagnosis so large, but um, I did. So there we go, that's what's done is done, I suppose, as they say. Um, and we'll have another silver bench in there, and a big bin here, um, and a leaflet stand. That's nice. Um, and it's still not pretty enough. It's interesting. So I've got another bench in there. Um, do I need a drinks machine? I think I do. That's good for there. Um, about another yucca. So we've got bin right there. But maybe I can fit a couple of yuccas in. Um, and a yucca on the corner there. With a nice couple benches to finish it all off nicely there we go one there and one there um, and a lovely leaf that stand on the end that's good oh no I'm still not an attractiveness I think it's because I just bought this new area over here so what I'm going to do before I do anything else I'm gonna pans lab because that is huge or at least one of the biggest required rooms I've seen so far spin it round is that the right way around? Doesn't really say, does it? Okay, fine. Uh, prestige level two. I think it's just because it's already a higher quality kind of uh, 
room anyway. So there we go, we got bin in, fire extinguisher, night, you know, keep up the cleanliness in the hospital. Um, plants, couple of them. Um, can I fit another one in there? No, I wonder whether I can move that along. If you hold control, you can be a little bit more sensitive on the uh, on the placement. So there we go. There we go. It fits in there. And then one more. No, you still can't fit. Okay. Ah, yes, you can. There we go. I just like the little symmetrical plant arrangement here. There we go. Lovely. Uh, we're already at prestige level three, so maybe we'll just whack up a few uh, a few posters on the back wall. Looks a bit ominous, really, doesn't it? Um, and you know what? Let's get an eye test poster. That would be nice. Um, over here. You know, you can never have, have enough of them. And there we go. That'll do it for now. So, what do we need for this room then? We need a doctor. The doctor's on his way. Okay, I think we probably need to hire another doctor because we've been bought a few rooms. What's your name? What's your name? Come along. Where are you? Dr. Yolanda Sausage. You do land a sausage, don't you? Okay, fine. And what else do we need? So, we've got two buildings. We need to get our hospital level up to six, which isn't that much further to go. Um, and we need to cure three patients over here. So let's get our speed up because um, we need to keep it moving along. My money's doing okay. I'm making 18,000 a month, but I am spending. Uh, yeah, come along. And a ward emergency, cure four patients with lazy bones. What do I need? A ward, one in the hospital. So I got one ward. <coughs> I've got one ward, and I've got four uh, four beds in there. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. The sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. The reporters here are on the, not the reporters, sorry, the DJs on the radio station. He's absolutely excellent, he's hilarious, I thought I'd just listen to that really quickly. And uh, he really goes for it, so uh, it's nice to hear that they've added that in. It reminds me a little bit of Grand Theft Auto uh, with the radio in the car. Um, someone, you know, telling a bit of a funny story. It's a little bit more... Um, uh, less rude than some of what you hear on uh, Grand Theft Auto, but there we go. A um, couple of nice plants, and there we go. I'm almost at 70%. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, it's a bit cheaty, but I'm going to just throw in some plants, and I made my requirement, so it's nice and pretty now. So, anyone waiting here? No? We've cured one already. There's one more in there. Is there anyone else with a big pan on their head? Um, so ward patient, three cured, in progress, one. Come on, lit fella. You're almost cured? How long is it going to take? Feeling visited by nurse. Yeah, that, that is what's happening. Okay, how much longer have we got? 57 days? And what, you need another? Well, it doesn't say how long it's going to take you. I suppose it never says how long it's going to take for someone to be cured, but... Uh, okay, there you go. Oh, you are waving because you wanted to get in the bed. Oh, so you have to get the nurse to tell you to get into bed. There you go, and the nurse told you to get out of bed. So did I make that? Yes, I completed that challenge. So what happened here? Henrietta Claridge, janitor. Well done, we successfully completed the request. So what do I get? I get 25% happiness, good, and 10 more kudosh. Uh, impress the VIP. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great news. Okay, so I get some more reputation, some money, some kudosh. And I cured all the four patients. So again, I get, again, all reputation, kudosh, and money. And another staff challenge. So what do I need? A level four staff room. So I'll accept that. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and I'm going to edit it. Um, because I think we should make that bigger. 
Um, and that straight away is going to improve the situation. Um, no, plot that down. Okay, so we'll put the door in there. Again, it's weird the way they don't let, you know, they don't make the windows move along with the wall. Uh, no, I don't want to finish editing the room. Uh, we'll put another window in there. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and another bookcase in there. So what have I got? So I've got prestige level three. What else can I put in here? So I've got two snack machines. Let's put in a third snack machine. Um, well, I could do with some of this stuff, but I just I haven't got enough money to buy it. So maybe I want one of them. And I get a sweet dispenser in there. Um, maybe a couple more, you know what, a couple more sofas. Never hurt anyone, did they? Uh, are they going to do the job though? Are they going to actually get my level up high enough? Um, I know it's a bit of a weird layout, but it, it you know, gives the relaxed atmosphere that you need in a staff room. You don't want it overly, uh, overly organised, otherwise everyone's going to be unhappy. So that's, that's fine for there, and let's chuck in some lockers. And there we go, finally got up to level 4. Okay, so they're happy with that. And there we go, Isaac Patio, Doctor, level 4 staff room, time limit, 180 days, yep, so I got some more happiness and some kudosh. So hopefully no one's running away. So I need more people with big pans on their heads. So are you, no, no one queuing here, no. I don't need any extra cash, thank you. I just need more patience, really. So I've got another Freddie Mercury guy. So I'm almost at my one star, so I've almost got my level level five hospital so far. So what I'll do is I get a toilet in over here. Everyone will be happy to have a toilet. They're quite small, these cubicles. I don't really feel like I could fit in there very easily. I mean, I'm a tall man, but, you know, that's even, that's even smaller than anyone, you know, anyone can fit in there. Uh, do you need to dry your hands? I suppose you do, really, don't you? So you can just have one sink and one hand dryer. Um, that'll probably do the trick. And then a nice big bin in the corner. Irix. Oh no, you're not going to be happy there. No, okay. Will you go by in the door? No, but you'll go down there. Okay. Um, you know, that'll do it. Or, oh, can I get. I just need it. I need a little bit. Something else in there. Well, that will fit there, but does that stop everyone getting into the. You know, does that. How about I get rid of that? Can I get it? Yucca. Yucca in there and a plant in there. And will that take me up? That'll take me up to level three. There we go. So I'm almost at level six hospital as well, which is what I really need. So the toilets are in there. That's all in there. Everyone's a bit happier now. Reputation is very high. Um, so we'll go over here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll hire probably another janitor. You're good with ghosts, so there you go. In you go. Oh, I've got level six because I got more uh, more staff now. And then I just need the one more person to be cured in Pan's lab, and then we're at level one. So I'll just try and get there. Come on. How do I entice more people so we can construct new hospital buildings? Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, maybe I'll put in another room of some sort. I don't know, another GP's office over here to stop people having to wander back and forth all the time. Just a small one, because I've only got one at the moment anyway. So there we go, lovely filing cabinets, two of them, getting a weighing scales in. You know, the doctor always does ask you how heavy you are. I don't know why. Um, I mean, if I looked extremely large and weighty, then they might want to check that my health was doing okay, but um, I'm not particularly... I'm a little bit. Your car is being taken we'll keep quiet about that. That's a Too much sitting at a desk, I think. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so what's wrong with that? Is it because the bin's too close to it? So that's fine. Can we put it down there again? Yeah, lovely. There we go. So that's level six even higher now. So, so there we go. There's someone here. Let's follow him. Appointment. Heading to the Pan's lab. Okay, you're gonna have a drink first, are you? What's your mood like? So your good temperature, don't need the toilet, your health is all right. Okay, Steve Syrup with a big pan on your head, come on. 
in the queue you go, right to the front. And there we go, we got a doctor coming in. And here he comes. Tootle, tootle, tootle. It'd be good if you, if you click on them, they just follow them, which is quite nice. Um, and you can spin it round and it continues to follow. So let's see. Let's see the little. Uh, so we've got a big magnet on here. Comes along. Puts his head on. Big magnet sucks it off his head. Bit of pumping mechanism over here. I'm not sure why. And there we go. Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Like lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now, focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head, by opening a new hospital in Flottering, as it's currently not much of an empire. So great, so we've unlocked Flottering, we've unlocked Cardiology, we've unlocked the Deluxolux number two, so that means we can upgrade the Deluxolux. Um, but I tell you what, we'll leave it here for this time. We'll, we'll go to Flottering maybe next time, or maybe we'll try and get this up to a two or three star. It's a bit easier once you've got to the one star to kind of pump it up because you've got a bit of money, you've got a good reputation, and people are really coming. So thank you very much for watching. We're going to leave it here, and I will see you next time.